So you've created the perfect procedural terrain using material displacement, but now you want to export it as a displacement map. Here's how. Place a camera looking toward the ground, move it above the terrain, and set render dimensions to a common texture size such as 4K or 8K. The larger, the better. Switch to camera view, set the camera type as orthographic, and adjust its orthographic scale until the camera's view is only seeing what you want to see in your displacement map. In render settings, reduce the render sample count to 1 and disable denoise. Moving on to render layers, enable mist pass. Now go to the world tab and find mist pass. We need to figure out what these values should be. Start will be the highest or brightest points on the displacement map, while depth will be the lowest or darkest areas. So switch your viewport to side or front ortho view, keeping your shading mode as rendered so we can see the material displacement. Move the terrain on Z until the lowest point is on the zero plane. Add a cube and enter edit mode. Move all geometry down one meter. Make sure the copy attributes add-on is enabled for this next step. Select the cube, shift select the camera, and press Ctrl C. Then copy location and copy rotation. Now scale the cube until it is just touching the highest point of the terrain. Copy the cube's Z dimension and paste it in the start field of the mist pass. The cube can now be deleted. Now take the Z coordinate of the camera and subtract the start value. Use that as your depth value. Render the scene and open a compositor window. Connect the mist socket to image and drop an invert node on the connecting noodle. Go back to the render result window and save your image as a 32-bit open EXR with a black and white color space and override color management with non-color. And that's it. Your displacement map is ready to use in Blender or another application to physically deform a mesh. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Carl with Blender Forge. Happy blending!